Now, go on. <laughs> Mug. Uh. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> you don't want to Well, there you go. That's what Nico thinks of YouTube. He has, uh, he's turned around and, uh, and uh, made his feelings very clear. Um, I thought I'd do another hat video. <laughs> uh, this is my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> I haven't got a cold at the moment, but it is rather cold here. Uh, outside, of course, not here. It's quite warm. I, um, I, I, well, you know, it's not a new pipe. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, one I bought, an estate pipe. I bought on uh, eBay, and uh, I thought I'd, uh, I'm still struggling, and I'm hoping that you'll be watching this with with uh, with my lips and my words all coming together. But uh, I <laughs> I make no promises because uh, I'm struggling. Would be the uh, Oh, oh no! He's, I thought we were going to get some. Uh, no, um, I'm really struggling with the uh, with the uh, with the video uh, syncing thing. I'm sure, you know, because the thing I found with computers is that, and I can I can remember when. Um, we had BBC Micros, I don't know if anybody from England would remember those, in the 80s. And these were regarded as the cutting edge of computer. And this, I was baffled by them. And, uh, you know, uh, a friend of mine, David Stone, he had, he had one which to spend hours on it. And it had games, you know. And I remember he had one called an American Civil War game, but it was always kind of the weird, weird pixelated characters. Now these days you get these. Um, I don't play, play them, but uh, um, I think the World of Warcraft is it and things like that, which are really rather impressive. Um, but these things were dreadful, and you used to load it up with a cassette. Um, I only started using a computer. Uh, when I, um, uh, you know, studying, because uh, a lot of, uh, I always used to insist on writing my essays with a fountain, <laughs> and I still write, I like, I prefer to write with a fountain pen, it's funny, you know, good paper and what not to use them with, but anyway, um, I'm, you know, I'm, the thing I've found with computers is that they are pretty idiot proof. It, it's all quite self-explanatory, and it's all rather, uh, you know, um, well, straightforward. But this uh, whole lip-syncing thing, I mean, there is a kind of a debate going on, and uh, some people have said they don't mind. Others, uh, are, and uh, you know, I, I don't want to start any sort of, you know, online uh, uh, sort of struggle about it. But anyway. I was also today thinking about smoke rings. <laughs> now, uh, I first started seeing in the pipe fraternity this appear. Pipe friend started to attempt to uh, blow smoke rings, and was uh, we, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's finally he's now blowing the old one here and there. But there seems to be a. a I, mean, I, I know some people don't uh, won't like Richard Dawkins. I'm, I'm not. I'm the jury's out <laughs> as far as I'm concerned on it. But uh, he. Uh, he came up with this idea in a book called uh, The uh, Selfish Gene, called The Meme, 
which is an idea or whatever that circulates and spreads within the community. Now I'm beginning to feel that smoke rings might well be one of those. But anyway, um, as I say, I'm only doing this really, really uh, A, because I've got this rather nice, it's a Royal Danish, uh, uh, which is a make, made by Stanwell. And uh, it's that kind of second fiddle sort of uh, make. It's a good solid, put a lovely staining on it, no varnish or anything like that. It's uh, the, the bit, the was in a bit of a state. Uh, and I got my I, I I stopped using toothpaste uh, to be honest with you. So I got you know with only the one hand I got myself in a right mess with it. So I bought myself a small pot which was very expensive. When I say a small pot, you know, kind of like you know small pot of Savinelli uh, stem polish and uh, and. Uh, And um, it cost three pound fifty, so sort of like seven dollars, I I'd guess, something near that sort of mark, maybe a bit more. And uh, it's come up a treat, uh, but I think once you get them cleaned up, as long as every time I smoke my pipe, I've got, you know, like the uh, old-fashioned sort of dusters, you know, the yellow colour things, I always just have a I have a duster, and I. Um, I give them a good old rub with that and, and use my nail with the dust between my nail and the stem and I just give it a little, you know, sort of like rub like that and it keeps them nice and clean. But it is a really nice pipe, smokes really well, it's got a lovely grain to it. It's a few, I, I would, it's pretty straight the grain, there's a little patch there, or it's like a knotty bit there, but uh, you know, it's, it's a nice pipe. And it's a sitter as well, I'm into these at the moment. Uh, it, as I say, it, it's got a flat bottom, so when you're out for your uh, weekly uh, game of uh, cribbage down the pub, you can uh, sit your pipe down on the table, and well, not anymore in this case, but outside, obviously, we wouldn't want to break the smoking ban, would we? Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm hoping you're watching this, my lips and words are all sinking together, if not, I've done it wrong again, and um, hopefully soon... <laughs> I'll uh, I'll be able to uh, you know get it all right. Anyway, good night and uh, keep blowing those smoke rings.